Hi everyone, this is Amswim40 from AngryBirdsNest.com and I'm back with the second video in our tutorial series. This time we're going to be looking at the extended flock. Birds that were first added to the series in an app other than the original Angry Birds. The first bird we're going to look at is the orange bird. The orange bird was added in the Angry Birds Seasons episode called Halloween. Uh, the reason why we're going to start with the orange bird is because he appears in both um, Angry Birds Seasons, Angry Birds Rio, and the original Angry Birds. So he is the most widely used. You can see him in the swing shot here. In the form he's in right now, he's very good against wood. So I'm going to try to shoot him through these wooden blocks down here. And when you tap, or if you just wait a couple seconds after impact, you see the orange bird expands rapidly, he inflates, and as a result he pushes materials out of the way. It can be very destructive just in that form. It's even more destructive if you can get him into a very narrow opening, something like a you know, very small crevice or in between wooden or, wooden or stone blocks. He can do a lot of damage that way. So you can see he can be quite effective, and it was a really nice addition to the flock. The next birds that we're going to look at are Blue and Blue and Jewel together. They appear only in the Angry Birds Rio app. So we're going to first take a look at Blue and Jewel together. They first appear in uh, Jungle Escape. This happens to be a boss fight against Nigel. So the first set in the slingshot are Blue and Jewel together. So we can fire them, and when we tap the screen, Jewel starts flying straight across. This is kind of an interesting concept, and you'll see later that it's something similar to the laser bird in Angry Bird Space. But you can see that this is a sort of an interesting new take where one of the birds can actually fly. This is not something we're used to seeing in the Angry Birds apps. But you can see that they can be rather effective together. You can loop them as I did in the first shot, or you can fire them straight across like this, or you can attack Nigel directly. In any case, it's an interesting concept and something very new. On the other hand, we can look at Blue on his own. Now, Blue does not have the ability to fly even though he's a bird. You know, not an angry bird, but he's an actual bird. Um, but nonetheless, he can't fly, so when you fling him into a structure, he starts flailing around kind of like a maniac, since he doesn't know how to fly. Again, you can either do this upon impact, or you can click, and whenever you click, he'll start flailing as well. So that's what happens if you click instead of just letting him collide with the structure. Last but not least, we're going to look at Angry Birds Space. There's two new birds that appear here. One of them is uh, just a sort of tweak of the yellow bird. We're going to look at this one first. It's called the Laser Bird. What's nice about the Laser Bird is that it's the first time where where you actually click on the screen affects what the bird does. So here I'm going to fire the laser bird up here and notice that when I tap on over here on the right that's exactly where the laser bird goes. So when you tap he goes directly towards wherever your finger is. Now a very interesting note here is that if you go to a level in Anchor Bird Space where there's gravitational fields the laser bird is not affected by gravitational fields when after its ability has been triggered. But once it touches another item or touches blocks, things like that, it will be subject to normal gravity. The last bird that we have to look at is the ice bird, which is completely new. It first appears in cold cuts and Again, this is a bird where you can either let it collide naturally and then use its ability, or, just to demonstrate, you can manually trigger its 
kind of icy blast or whatever you want to call it. It's freezing. So you see that it freezes whatever blocks are in the area. And it's particularly useful when you have bluebirds after it, just like in this level, because bluebirds are very good against ice. So this can make things like stone and wood very, very brittle, which makes the bluebirds much more effective. Okay, that's the end of the second video. I'll be back with a few more in the coming days. Take care, everyone.